we're about to deliver you an example of the law of signs. This is brought to you by UPS. Not really. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go and you want to draw a triangle. Boom. Beta is my big side. Why? Because my alpha and my gamma are small. So that means beta is bigger. So I put B on the opposite side of beta. It's oblique. Like the muscles on your side? No. This is a no flex zone. You know better. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put my 16. Point three in the little piece and my 47.6 in the medium angle. They also gave us a side. Oblique. No. <laughs> 211. Stolen. All right, we have a 211 in progress. No, we have the law of signs in progress. I put it on down there. It says the ratio of the angles to the side are equal. So since they gave us Alpha and gamma, we're going to use those and set them equal to each other. So the sine of alpha divided by A, this is nothing to sneeze at. Yes, this is live in a classroom. Um, I'm bored, but we'll continue on. So my alpha is 16.3 divided by, they didn't give me my A. We're looking for A. If you see A, tell them we're looking for them. And then we put our gamma in where gamma go, and we put our C in where C go. And then we go and do some algebra. I'm one that likes to put it all in the calculator at one time. So I'm going to multiply both sides by a 211. I'm going to divide both sides by a sine 47.6. I'm going to multiply both sides by an A. Just like a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Then we throw that into that calculator. We pound it out. And it turns out to be that A is 80.6. Three. Since they gave it to us in one decimal, we should give it to them in one decimal. Box and package.